Hi there, I would like to show you something general. Uh, I regularly face with the fact that not everybody uses Autodesk products. So whenever I receive something from outside, it kind of uh, often happens that I receive files which consist of surfaces. I mean, this one particular profile consists of 28 surfaces. So it is kind of messy to work with the steel structure like this. This is a small one. I mean, I deleted most of it. But you can imagine that if it is a regular steel structure with uh, plates and uh, railing, how many surfaces you will have. Obviously, it will cause problems regarding uh, uh, computing time in the 3D space and especially when you are creating views in the ortho drawings. So, obviously, it would be much better to have 3D solids. So, each profile would be not 20, 30 faces, but one single solid. It would save a huge amount of computing time each and every time you open the model and each and every time you generate a 2D view, an ortho view from it. So, what you can do is to ask a better model, but what if you can't get one? Uh, you have to deal with what you have. So, I have a workflow which also works for huge models. I mean, I tested it and at least on my computer it was working just fine. So, what I usually do in this case is I import this geometry to Inventor. Maybe there is another way to do it, but that was the most uh, simple way I found. So I close this DVG file for now and go to Inventor. Sorry, I already opened it. Uh, so I open it like this. I click on the file and hit Options. It is very important to hit options and select the import option here and hit OK and open. So this is OK. I hit next. Sorry, it is in Hungarian. I have some true view error there, but I don't think it will cause any trouble. So um, these are the settings which are working for me. Try to copy everything if you find yourself in any trouble. So just double check if everything is the same. And if it is the same and you still have some errors, just let me know in the comments below. But it should work like this. So I just hit Befejezés, which means finish. Uh, and I wait for inventor. It should work fast now because it is... Uh, quite small file. Okay, and it is finished already. So in Inventor, it is also a mess. As you can see, if you are familiar with Inventor, that these transparent stuff are surfaces. So these are surfaces. We are not happy because surfaces are also bad and you don't like it in inventory either. It would generate huge problem in inventor drawing generation too. So pah, you are thinking that we are at the same uh, page in inventor and in AutoCAD. But what I found is in inventor, it is very simple to generate solids from closed surfaces and it is working very fast and very efficiently. So I just have to select this sculpt option which basically generates 
solids based on the closed surfaces. So I just select the total surface. This is just there is just one surface and hit OK. And basically that's it. Now I have a part in Inventor which is one big solid, which is much better than what we had before, but still not that good, because it would be much better to have uh, uh, dedicated parts for each profile, or dedicated solids for each profile. But that is not that hard to do from now, because I just export this file to DVG. I just save it to the desktop and go back to AutoCAD and open that part for DVG. So now I have the almost the same looking file like before. But now this one is not, I don't know, 1000 solid, uh, 1000 surface, but one single 3D solid, which is quite good. And there is an option in AutoCAD, which is separate. And basically this is a command which will separate one big solid into non-continuous volumes. So it will recognize which profiles are single, single solids. So I just hit separate, select this one, separate solids, and that's it. Now I have separate 3D solids for each and every profile. I can hide them individually if I want, color them, layer them, whatever I want, I can do it. There is some problem here because these two was touching each other, so separate was not working 100% perfectly, but still it is, uh, how to say, way, way far away from what we had before with this, I don't know, 1000 surfaces, 1000 uh, 3D faces. Now you have separate solids. You can also import this DVG back to Inventor and you will have a very good uh, assembly with multiple parts, much better to work with in Inventor also. So if you have any better solution how to solve this issue, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.